Okay, guys, so good morning and welcome to the field trip in coastal geomorphology. So here we are on the, at the start of the Balikotan cliff walk, which is, um, and Balikotan is a small fishing village in East Cork, so probably most of you have been here before. And um, this area really is, it's a perfect area for a coastal geomorphological field trip because within a relatively short stretch of coast, we have a huge variety of coastal types. So we're starting from rock cliffs here at the Balikotan Cliff Walk, then this coastal islands, this village of Balikotan, which has some coastal infrastructure, like so some elements of coastal zone management there. And then heading into Balikotan Bay, we have a series of sandy and gravelly beaches. We have a series of wetlands. Um, we have some gravel ridges. Then <clears throat> there would be some elements of coastal protection and good examples of eroding cliffs, like um, glacial teal cliffs. So in, in, in general, um, what we'll do today, like basically you need to do a geomorphological analysis of this area. So our study area is, uh, is not Balikotan only, it's a Balikotan Bay. So the Balikotan Bay is like starting from these headlands of Balikotan and then going there to my left as far as the next headland. And the general geomorphology of this area is very strongly controlled by the geology. So the headlands, like where you're standing now, as well as the other headland, about five kilometers to the east, they're composed of solid rocks belonging to the old Red Devonian sandstone group. So this rock's been formed 400 million years ago in a desert-like environment when island was around the equator. Then to the east of uh, Balikotan Lighthouse Island, we have some transitional sequences, a mixture of Carboniferous and Devonian rocks, uh, which were deposited in marine environment. And then Balikotan Bay itself, which is four or five kilometer stretch of coast, that's formed with Carboniferous limestone. And the reason why we have a bay there, because Carboniferous limestone, it's uh, a soft, limestone is a softer rock, which is so rock types is one factor behind the general geomorphology of the area but there's another factor which would be geological structures so here we're standing on the headland which is relatively elevated in relation to the Balikotan bay area so we are standing on the top of the anticline so if this anticline is actually the extension of the church bay anticline starting on the west side of Cork Harbor. So extending for like 40 kilometers or 20 kilometers, whatever it is like, from Church Bay across Roches Point and coming up to here. Then we have a syncline, which is represented with younger rocks with uh, Carboniferous limestone within the Lycoton Bay area because it's a syncline, it's a lowland. So that's why we have a bay. And then the next headland about five kilometers to the east is also an anticline and that belongs to the that's a continuation of the great island anticline which going through cove across the cork harbor so you see generally the geology and geomorphology of south island is strongly controlled by this synclines and anticline forms running roughly from west to east the reason why we don't have Carboniferous limestone here on this headland, but mostly uh, Devonian, redstone, red, uh, Devonian sandstone, because younger rocks been eroded here as they're in more elevated position, but they been buried by quaternary deposits in the bay. In your handouts, I made a series of maps for you. So starting with the Google Earth image of the study area, and then there's a series of maps like Ordnance Survey map of the Balikotan Bay, and then there's some, some zoom-ins going from west to east. And use those maps like for marking your location for whatever you do during the day, like for example, like you do some measurements or take some samples, mark it on the map, like to just make it easier for you to remember um, things when you're doing your post fieldwork reports. Fieldwork reports, like I don't expect them to be huge, but like they need to be as short as possible, but informative as well as like, we're not gonna be doing any rocket science today. Like generally what you need to do, you need to do geomorphological analysis of the area. And 
describe representative coastal types that you observe throughout the day, starting from rock cliffs, then going into beaches, and then on beaches, like there would be some sand dunes, there would be salt marshes, there would be exposed peat deposits, there would be coastal protection, there would be changes in sedimentation pattern from sand to gravel, there would be some sedimentation form like ripple, current ripples, and we would give you GPSs, we will give you compasses, yes? So throughout the day, take, document everything you see, because like I would like you to use your own photos in your field reports, okay?